Hi friends, India has over 700 languages and over 20 official languages. So converting the text and speech between different languages is a very common and very important use case. That's exactly what this startup called Sarvam is trying to solve. Okay, so they work in the generative AI space, multilingual text as well as speech. They even open sourced a couple of models on Hugging Face and their latest model, which is called Sarvam 2B. It's a 2 billion parameter model. It works in 10 different languages. And here you, they show the speed versus the accuracy. Now being a 2 billion parameter, obviously it's much faster. It's even faster than Gemma 2 billion parameter model uh, of same size. Uh, most importantly, the performance is comparable to Gemma 9 billion and Llama 3.18 billion uh, parameter models uh, in terms of this value accuracy, uh, which is quite impressive. Okay, yesterday uh, they have released. Uh, APIs for converting or translating the text between different languages uh, uh, as well as uh, the speech. Okay, so currently uh, they support uh, 10 Indian languages. Uh, so they support Hindi, uh, Bengali, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odisha, uh, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, which is my native language, English as well as uh, Gujarati, okay? So let's look at uh, these APIs. So the first one, uh, the translate, uh, as it says, it is to translate between uh, these 10 uh, languages, okay? So here uh, we have a statement in English, which is their mission statement at Servom. We are on a mission to make generative AI real for Bharat. Bharat means that's the ancient name uh, for India, okay? So here, we are converting English to Telugu. That's the, those are the source and target languages. Uh, the rest same. Now, uh, they have uh, uh, Mayura V1. Uh, that's the model name. Okay. All right. So here is the output, uh, which is quite good. It accurately represents uh, what is mentioned here. Uh, even though it is not word to word, but the intent and the semantics uh, uh, matches uh, quite well. Okay. And the second API, uh, it's text to speech. Now for the speech, uh, they have six voices. Uh, so three are female. These are called Mira, Pavitra, Maitreyi. And the three male voices, Arvind, Amol and Amartya. So they name these uh, interesting. These are most uh, ancient uh, sound like uh, names in India. All right. So the API is text to speech. Uh, we are using the same text which is uh, generated in the previous call. All right. And then we can choose the speaker. So here we are choosing Mira, uh, which is a female voice. And then uh, we can set some config uh, parameters, uh, the pace, loudness, uh, uh, etc. Okay. The model name, it's Bulbul uh, V1. All right. So we invoke the model. And then the response, uh, it's a base 64 uh, text. It's, it's an audio file. It's a it's an audio, but it's encoded in this base 64 uh, string format. All right. So we take the string and we convert into audio format and we saved here and we are uh, uh, loading here. So I'll play the audio. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's Telugu, my native language. Uh, except the first word, uh, which is uh, this part, uh, the audio is uh, quite clear. So uh, this part, uh, it it's quite good, uh, but the first one, uh, it is not uh, very clear. All right, uh, let's try a male voice. Uh, so here we tried Mira female voice. Now let's try uh, male uh, Arvind voice. All right, exactly the same, but this time we chose the speaker as Arvind, okay? So again, run through the API, get the response or the audio as base64 encoded text, uh, convert the text into audio 
and here i am playing the audio this is much better i would say uh, it is really good uh, including the first word uh, which is this uh, the audio is clear and it uh, captured uh, correctly as well now the third api it is speech to text so let's use the audio file generated previously the two audio files and see if they can convert it back to text uh, correctly all right so it's a speech to text api uh, and again this model is called sarika uh, version 1 and this time we are inputting an audio file right so uh, the request uh, the syntax is slightly different uh, whereas for all these uh, we can input the text as it uh, within the payload uh, but here uh, we are uh, supplying an audio file in the form of this wave file okay all right uh, do the same uh, so first we are doing with the first file which is the female voice uh, we, which uh, uh, the first word wasn't very clear right so in this text translation also uh, the first word it is not correct okay so from here uh, it is correct uh, but this first word uh, also it's uh, it's not correct in the audio and it could not understand because it's a little noisy uh, but the rest is uh, quite good now let's see if it uh, does a better job uh, the uh, male voice okay so exactly the same but this time we are uh, loading the second audio file which is generated using the male voice uh, arvin okay all right so this time uh, even the first word is correct uh, so uh, the rest is also correct uh, uh, so the male voice uh, has done much better job uh, in converting the text to audio and back to text using the audio file okay um that's all for this video uh, thank you very much